won by the rain two to one. Now they'll meet for the fourth time this year and in each of the three previous regular season meeting we've seen some goals. <laughs> we have and I expect nothing different today. This is going to be an offensive power pack matchup. You have some of the best players in the world on these teams. Megan Rapino, Kim Little, Jess Fishlock. And on the flip side, you have Crystal Dunn, the golden boot winner this year in the NWSL. You have Ordega up top. These players are so ex explosive in the offensive third. If you give them just a window of space, they will find the back of the net time and time again. They met a week ago in the regular season finale. That was won by the rain, two to one. Now they'll meet for a right to go to the NWSL final guys back to you in Orlando thank you guys and from the sunshine state of Florida we bring you all the way across the country to the shadows of the Space Needle here in Seattle it's semifinal number two in the National Women's Soccer League and it starts right now on FS1 as the NWSL season comes to an end we're ready for the real season to begin where it's either win or go home what kind of an angle did she take on that shot? My goodness! Just four teams remain, all looking to seize their opportunity to achieve greatness. It's the NWSL semifinals on Fox Sports. Fans already filing their way inside Memorial Stadium here in the Emerald City of Seattle, Washington, where we have a jewel of a semifinal matchup. The number one seed, Seattle Reign FC, playing host to the Washington Spirit. Semifinal number one already in the books, and it was the visitors, FC Kansas City, behind two Amy Rodriguez goals, getting a 3-0 win. And for the second straight year, they have booked their spot in the NWSL final. With that, we welcome you here to our broadcast here on Fox Sports 1. She's former U.S. Women's National Team standout, Ali Wagner, and my name is Mark Rogandino. This is a rematch of the 2014 semifinal between Washington and Seattle that was won by the rain. We got a ton of talent out on the field. I think at the top of that list, you have to start with the Spirits, Crystal Dunn. You do. You can't talk about the Spirit without talking about Crystal Dunn. She is one of those explosive, exceptional talents that always draws at least two defenders on her. And with that attention this season, she's had to adapt. She became the Golden Boot winner simply by learning how to run at defenders in the first half. And in the second half, she's figured out defense gets tired. I can get in on the end of through balls, on balls over the top. And when it comes down to it, you don't stop her. You just look to slow her down because she makes something out of nothing almost every time she touches the ball. Sounds like the old adage, you can't stop her. You can only <laughs> hope to contain her. Seattle will try and do that here this evening. But this Seattle, te Seattle team has been fantastic at home. Over two years now without a loss inside this stadium here in the Emerald City, they're going to be tough to beat. They are. Well, there's a reason that there's a coin term, the home field advantage. You have all the creature comforts of being at home. You get to sleep in your own bed. You get to go to your favorite restaurants. You know the facilities. You know the field. And you have your fans behind you when you step out on the field. But I think the reason Seattle is so dominant at home is because this field, Moda Pitch, is a small field, and that plays right into their style of play. They love to high-press the opponent, and you can do that when you're on a small field because you can put them under pressure and suffocate them every time they touch the ball and force turnovers. Allie, they do also have last year's MVP in the NWSL, and that is Kim Little. She's fantastic. Well, in my opinion, she's one of the best female players in the world. And yes, we know she can score, we know she can assist. She has 10 goals, seven assists on the season, but what makes her so special is her ability to evade pressure. And you get a look there as a step over her moves. She has little subtle movements in her play. When she receives the ball, she's able to buy herself a yard or two of space, and she play makes in those windows. And every time she touches the ball, she almost always makes the right decision. So it's the Golden Boot winner and MVP from last year against Crystal Dunn, the Golden Boot winner of this year. When we come back, we'll show you the starting lineups and get into the first half kickoff on Fox Sports 1.